but more can and should be done. Joining us now is Congressman Rob Bishop, Chairman of the House Natural Resources Subcommittee on National Parks, Forest, and Public Lands. Great to have you with us. Thank you for having me on. Uh, let, let's begin first with the, the politics of the moment, and that is the president's reversal on uh, same-sex marriage. Your reaction? Well, neither the president nor the vice president have any responsibility over establishing what the definition is. The legal definition is still DOMA, and uh, only, only the states really have the ability of changing that, or perhaps Congress, but uh, it's not an executive branch decision to be made. And your reaction to whether or not it'll have any influence on the election, irrespective of the actual administrative power to affect the change? Well, I think everything that is said has impact on this election, especially if it is close as we are predicting. So, yeah, I, I think it would have some impact, but I'm sorry. That's only time and, and hindsight can answer that question accurately. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't understand you there. You're, you're speaking so low and there's so much noise. I, if I, uh, I may ask you I apologize. I'll try, and be, I'll try and be louder with that one. I apologize. Like, if, 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 it's a, if it's a close election, anything that is said will have some kind of an impact. But that's, that's the kind of question that can only be answered accurately through hindsight. Mm -hmm. I will, let's try with foresight. Do you think that this will be a problem for Governor Romney, or do you think it is a differentiation that might be positive for him? Well, I, um, no, I think there is a clear, I perceive a clear difference in what their responses would be. And once again, I think that uh, if you go back to what is the legal definition of marriage right now until the states or until Congress changes that, that mm -hmm. still is the legal definition. I think that's where one, that's where one should logically stand until some, some legal action has taken place. That what, what people perceive or what people think in, personally it's nice, but there is, this is a nation of laws, not a perception. Right. Uh, well, is, before we get too solipsistic on that, let, let's turn to the evolution of this president's energy policies, opening up natural gas wells in Utah. Uh, give, us, uh, give us your thoughts about uh, whether this augurs uh, the prospect of, of a greater, a, a definitive change in policy, uh, one that he's resisted to this point. I hope it is. It's a nice first step. But I think one must keep in mind that uh, these, are, these are leases that have been being reviewed for multiple years. I mean, they could have, they could have authorized these leases three years ago had they wanted to. I, I hope we don't have to wait till there's another presidential election to move forward. But even though this is being authorized by the Interior Department, there are other agencies of government that are trying to meddle in this particular issue that makes it worrisome still. So if this is indeed a change, I think it's a change for the better, and I welcome it. But I'd like to see what other agencies, specifically EPA, want to say about these kinds of projects going forward. And as I said, we've been waiting a long, long time for these to finally be approved. I'm glad it's approved any time, but uh, this close to election makes it somewhat suspect. Do you believe this is an election year conversion on the part of the administration, uh, as small and incremental a change as it may be? I want to hope not, but I wouldn't want to be the, uh, the lawyer at trying to prove that in a court of law. Well, luckily, you're 